African Strategic Studies Association, ISSA, has become the latest tool available to fledging People's Democratic Party PDP chieftains and their supporters. This is a report that they have been paying huge sums of money to trend in international and local media, including paying talking heads that impersonate as experts on television networks. It is now apparent that the main thrust of that report is for the PDP to destabilize Nigeria after realizing that its dismal record while in office has seen its loss in the forthcoming elections. The bizarre claims made in the report now point accusing fingers at the PDP as the client that recruited, recruited ISSA as a contractor to create a hook purge masquerading as a responsible government. Unfortunately, what the PDP has succeeded in doing is to mock Nigerians with the death of some patriots in recent times. This habit is consistent with the party's history of insensitivity to the pain it has inflicted on citizens, which has continued to echo as the security situation in the as the country continues to deal with the security situation to date. It is this same insecurity that is responsible for the deaths of the various Ghana commanders that the report now attempts to read meanings into. Politicizing the deaths using the report is insensitive and the PDP's attempt to malign the Nigerian government with the killings of Badi and Aikali is, is irresponsible even for a group of people that were long ago described as a nest of vipers. This desecration of memory of the departed is purely a prop for the purpose of elections. The intention is to instigate crisis in the polity and cause ethnic and religious strife that are all geared towards destabilizing the 2019 general elections. Proof has started emerging that the whole report is one huge scam, especially when PDP's arrowhead, Senator Bukula Saradi, Senate President, and Mr. Uche Sekundus, PDP National Chairman, could not resist the temptation of being a set with one of the talking heads that have financed to go on a television network to defend the lies in the report. Evidence has equally emerged that it paid premium rates to promote the report so that it can have an extended play in media circles. It, has, it is no coincidence that someone that has been on television justifying the taste by a moonlight document also met the men that have been making political capital out of the lies told in the report. Our worry is that as the elections draw nearer, there will be more lies that will cost the life of Nigerians. The party that has been responsible for the killings of innocent Nigerians under various guises like Hesman Farmers Crisis, Boko Haram Insurgency, Bandits and other crises will strike again and find a way to blame it on the incumbent government. The PDP is addicted to the strategy of packaging crises and gifting them to Nigerians so that they can turn around to claim that they alone should be entrusted with solving the problems they created in the first place. As a partisan platform, Convention for Democracy will not sit down and watch any Nigerian or group of persons destroy the peace of the country. No one's ambition is what destroying Nigeria for, and PDP should know that know this better with the benefit of experience. We therefore warn the PDP in the strongest stand to desist from using the misfortune of some Nigerians to promote disunity and hatred against the federal government, the military, or any other agency. The accusation against the federal government may make the PDP feel like it is gaining political mileage, but the reality is that the suspects arrested for the killing of these former military chiefs and other Nigerians will simply plead innocence in court and point to the PDP report as indicting different persons for the crimes. What the party is doing is dangerous because it has a tendency to allow the actual criminals escape, knowing that that disturbing act will be dismissed as politically motivated killing. We are by no means asking the PDP to give up the mischief for which Nigerians know them. But we think it is time for the party to concentrate on anything left of whatever political value it thought it once had, and that if it still has any electoral value before the electorates. Saraki Sekundus may wish to get a selfie opportunity with Boko Haram leader Shekau, but they should desist from trading of the nation's stability with lies from the peace of hell.